14 years ago, I made a game and released it to the world. It didn't get that much views, I'll be honest. But, you know, some other famous people played it, like uh, KSI from the Sidemen. It's lagging. Look at that. What? It went backwards. I'm not getting frustrated. Do I look like I'm getting frustrated? Screw you, Jeremy, for creating this stupid game. Ah, you see? Oh, well, look, look at the sensitivity in your mouth. Yeah, man. okay. I'll lower it then. I'll lower it. How do we lower this? Please don't tell me I have to start all over again. No, you get to enter a code. Oh, what was that code? There was no code. Oh my god. You know, 2 million views. And I remember seeing this video and being so excited. So to bring it full circle, I will now play my own game that I made 14 years ago. A game that other YouTubers have played. This, this guy has 6 million views from five years ago. I'll react to this later. That's that's another that's another uh, video. I react to other gamers playing my game. Fucking genius! Ah, oh, this guy says you've done it. So, as you can see, the game I made when I was 16 years old was interesting enough, a little bit, to be played by uh, YouTubers. And today, I will be playing my own game. And to make it a little high stakes, I will. Donate a hundred dollars every single death to uh, Jack Septic Eyes Thankmas charity for homelessness. Now you might be thinking, "Wow, a hundred bucks per death? That's not a lot, right?" But if you know this game, you know you die a lot. Here we go. The frustration game. There's music, and this is music I found from a free music library because there was no way I was paying for real music when I'm 16 years old. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Okay, all right, we'll stop. All right, let's get started. Maneuver your mouse through the maze. Avoid touching the walls at all time. Goal of the game is to finish all the levels with the least amount of mistakes possible. Only the tip of the mouse matters. You guys get the idea. It's really simple. You just don't touch the walls. Let's start easy, like your mother. I'm six. I was 16 years old. This was 14 years ago. My humor has evolved since. As you guys have seen with my Dragon These Nuts clip. <laughs> Alright. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure I saw someone fake dragon. What's what dragon? Dragon <laughs> These dragon? Nuts on your face! <laughs> 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 really highbrow humor now. You just press start and you just navigate your mouse through. Yeah, you just don't touch anything colored. Yeah, the purple stuff don't touch. And you just touch the green. Forgot to pay the electric bill, light a candle, I guess. So the gimmick's this one. So I like the idea of adding small gimmicks to everything. I don't like planning out a whole game. I like having a one concept and adding gimmicks to it. So this one is you can only see things around you. Right, so it's like essentially a flashlight in the dark situation. So you press start and it's moving and you're just trying to navigate with very little information. But as the maker of this game, I know exactly what the map looks like. You press start and this one is just you're navigating through these very easy, very easy. A little trick to this one is you just stay in the middle. Sorry, Jack Septic guy, I will not be donating money to the homeless today. We press start and then we go right and it speeds up but then it slows down oh okay so that one was an example of what it looks like to lose because you guys might have been thinking oh are you sure touching the walls makes you lose that was more to demonstrate um the game is working correctly <laughs> and it goes back right and it goes forward and it goes forward yeah now you see me so the gimmick with this one is that the map disappears every now and then. So you just gotta try and memorize what it looks like. But because I made the game, I remember exactly what it looks like. All right, this one is morphing. And it's really easy if you know what shapes and how it morphs. You go to the left, then you go to the right, then you go to the left. And bam, super easy, super easy. Spin cycle. This one's hard because knowledge won't help you. You just need to beat it. You just need to beat it. Like you just need to navigate through these. Go to the right. Okay, now 
that's all right. Left, then middle, then right, then middle, then left. And you go through. This level is nothing special. This one's super easy as well. You just go into the little nooks and fuck. You just go into the little nooks and crannies here. The little nooks and crannies. And then you wait and you sprint through. Chomp, chomp. Uh, the trick to this one is just stand between the spikes and it, it should never touch you. Stand between the spikes, stand between the spikes, stand between the spikes, stand between the spikes. And then you actually wait for one full sprint down. Three mistakes, that's $300. Now you might be thinking, Toast, just $300? Wow. There's also a frustration game too. Let's go. I'll do the same rules. Every death is $100. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the frustration game too. Channel, I guess I'm saying hi YouTube. It's the same fucking video. Oh, look at that animation. Wow. It's not just straight to the screen. It's like, Wow! Pilot your mouse through the maze. Avoid touching the walls and all obstacles. Go for the high score. Low score. Because you technically want the lowest amount of deaths. Only the tip of the mouse matters. Alright, let's get started. Oh, look at that animation! Woo! You can, you can tell in that three months I learned how to animate. Before playing this game, please make sure your immediate area is cleared of any valuable objects, loved ones, or cherished pets. Possible side effects from playing this game are constipation, death, depression, fatigue, and an urge to punch something and sad feelings. Oh, tell us you're so funny. You're so funny when you were 16 years old. So this time I had a tutorial because people weren't really getting it. Some levels require you to press a button in order to continue the game. Look, look at that. Now there's a button that you can press. It's no longer just moving your mouse. You gotta press things now. Don't touch the wall, don't touch the wall. I really need to remind people because some people just weren't getting it. Don't touch the wall. Push that button, this opens up. Oh, oh no, I forgot. Look, that's just an example of death. Everyone gets one. Just to show you guys, there are tricks to it. So the trick to this one, you saw how it closed off. You press it and then you gotta loop around and make it through. You gotta press this, you gotta... I didn't touch the wall there. I didn't touch the wall there. I didn't touch the wall there. Press it, then loop around! Press it. The pressure just deposit. Go down the long tunnel. 2.53 seconds. Memorize. Blue, green, red, purple. Blue, green, red, purple. Blue, green, red, purple. You guys remember? Blue, green, red, purple. Press it. Blue, green, red, purple. Notice how there was four purple ones, but on mouse over, it reveals the true color. Red bad, yellow get the fuck off, green good. So this is a play on red light, green light. I did red light, green light before Squid Game. I did it 16 years ago, okay? Green light, move, move. Red light, don't touch. Green light, move, move. Red light, don't touch. Green light, red light. So when it's red, you can't touch it. Fuck! No! Yes! This level, like many other things in life, is easier done with both hands. This is a masturbation joke. I just learned about sex that year. Not like doing it, but like reading about it. I didn't learn about sex like 10 years later. So you need to use two hands. That's right, keyboard. You gotta press B, you gotta press 9, you gotta press P, backslash, 1, equal, M, R, up arrow, dot, H, down, Q, 5, W, X. See, that W is actually an inverted M, right? You can tell by the way the keycap is facing. I forgot what the gimmick was this one. I wasn't, I wasn't watching. Left, right. Oh, this shit. You click it to be transformed into another area. <laughs> oh, fuck. This one is hard. Because you got to click through until the path opens up. Fuck! Stupid! This game is... This level is not fair. Because when the door opens, you should be allowed to go there. But instead, it's like, haha, it's a bait. You have to go back. Click. Wait for it. Wait for it. Click. You want to move up so you have more room to go through. You go to the left here. Go here, here. Go to the right. Double back. Go up here. You don't go right. Fuck the right. 
You go right here, you go right here. Yes! Oh, noes. Okay, so the gimmick to this one is that instead of having the entire space to work with, you're stuck in a small confined area. You go right here, you go left here, you go right here, you go left here. There's a little dot that tells you what is safe and what is not safe. So you gotta really pay attention. You get the key and unlocks. Survive the alphabet. Okay, this one was bad, I admit it. 16 year old me didn't know what I was ta doing, okay? I thought I was so clever. But it's just a giant letter that tries to kill you. But you can see it coming from so far away, right? You just always stay as far away from it as possible and it just counts from A to Z. It's because I just learned animation again and I'm like, I'm gonna do- I, this is so cool. You can animate the different alphabets to become one another. <laughs> Collect thud bucks. This, in my head, in 16 year old Toast's head, that's what a thug looked like. So you need to collect thug bucks so you can pay the toll. I even add a sound effect. A thousand dollars required. Two thousand dollars required. See, I only had eighteen hundred dollars there, so I can't touch it. And you notice there's a pile of money on the right, which makes it worth it to go for it. But because the opening is so small, it's risky. Risk and reward, right? Fuck! I need to go for the. I need to go for the. Uh, the enclave of cash. No, oh, no, no, no. Fuck, I forgot how hard this was. I don't have enough money! <laughs> You thought the impossible quiz was hard. Okay, so this one I can do because I remember the answer. This one is a trivia game. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 9 times is 81. A fish with eyes is FSH because there's no I. Can you K, 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 K? Oh, wait, I forgot. I need to do it for all four letters. 2. 81. FSH. KCVI. I forgot it was KCVI. Oh, this one I tried to do a game within a game. This was inspired by those top down stealth games that was very popular when I was young. So it's like the same thing, but skinned Fuck! to look like a, a stealth game, like a solid snake kind of deal. So you gotta come over here, touch the lever, open it up. And this is the boss, because I thought... <laughs> yeah, in case you can't tell, the mouse is scared. I drew everything myself, by the way, for the record. But of an artist. So the boss stage is you have to press eight buttons. So there are eight buttons across the boss stage, and it's in a circular loop. So you just keep going around in a circle until you click all eight buttons. What makes this level unique is that eight buttons to reach them, you have to redo what you've done in the previous levels, kinda. So let's just get started. You press start, and there's like a button here, and there's constantly something chasing you too. Like this thing will constantly chase you, but it's, oh, and you press K, remember that level? And then the red light, green light, remember that level? It all comes together. Like this. You need to go inside the thing chasing you, Come out of it. And the, the, the letters change too. Wait for the red light, green light, green light, green light. Grab these two. Wait for it. Fuck! Oh, not today! Not today, Jeremy W, you piece of shit. How did I fall for that? I just fell for it, and I made the fucking game. How am I falling for this? Don't, no, don't, 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 what? Don't, no, 
No. Okay, I'm gonna reach inside you. That's fine. Okay, I can't. I don't have to go for that one. Press K here. Green, green. Wait for it. Just no, no rush, no rush, no rush. Stay on the left, cause there's an asshole. You're blocking my exit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Navigate, navigate, navigate. Pivot, pivot. Come in, grab this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Grab this. Wait for it. Chill, 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 daddy, chill. Go in here, grab this, come out, come out, and then. Yes! So yeah, uh, that is uh, the frustration game. Donate now. How much did I lose, guys? Thir three and thirteen, right? So sixteen hundred dollars for charity. I already donated um eleven k. Well, I donated ten thousand dollars, and Ray donated. Well, I donated on Ray's behalf nine hundred and sixty dollars because um she beat me an escape room. And she said to give it to Tankmas. So now we're gonna add on top of that with a 1600 of our own. I'm hiding this part. I swear I'm doing it. I swear you can ask Jack to check the receipts. I just can't show you guys my credit card information. I hope you understand. Donation complete. You can now close this window. See? Donation complete. You can now close this window. All right. 16 deaths. That's $1,600 to the Thankmas charity. Uh, less deaths than I expected, but I did make the game after all. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me play my own game. If you guys want to try it out, uh, check it out on Newgrounds. Uh, I think I'll link it if my editor wants to put in the extra work. Sorry, editor. It's in the description below and tell me what score did you get? Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the game, go ahead and subscribe turn on the notification i don't know why i'm saying those things i just see other youtubers do it so i'm gonna do it i'm a bit of a sheep and i'll see you guys next time farewell